Hello everybody and welcome to the very special video. My name is Brandon and today marks the six month milestone since the start of this YouTube channel. So half a year has gone by, it has been an absolute blast so far and I just wanted to take a quick second and say thank you to everyone that's been watching these videos and supporting the channel. And throughout this six month period, I've talked about a variety of stocks uh, and some different investment topics that I think are worth recapping. Because especially in the position that I'm in, where there are people watching and learning from my videos, I think that it's important from a credibility standpoint to say, you know, hey, let's look at some of these stock picks and the different investment topics that we've covered and kind of look back and reflect on how they've done. Because, you know, over this six month time period, there have been some stocks that have performed extremely well and there have been some stocks that have performed very, very poorly. And that's just the reality of it. And as an investor, it's often wise, you know, from time to time to reflect on your investments, to see, you know, where you've done well, uh, give credit to your good stock picks and see how you can replicate those. And then, of course, assess the stocks that have gone down and say, hey, you know, can I learn from my mistakes here? Should I be cutting my losses? Uh, do I still believe in this company? Does my investment strategy remain the same? from the time that I started investing in here. You know, these are all the questions that you have to ask yourself from time to time. So we're gonna have a quick look at some of the different stock picks, the different videos. We're gonna look at the time that they were released and see how the stocks have performed thus far. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video. So the first video that I wanna talk about today was one that was titled, Why Millennials Should Stay Away From Cryptocurrency. Uh, and this was released back in January when the market cap of you know, the cryptocurrency field was hovering around $440 billion. Now today as I'm filming this video, the cryptocurrency field has a market cap of about $235 billion, representing a decline of about 57%. Now I can't take too much credit for this one. This one was kind of like shooting fish out of a barrel. Um, you know, anyone with any sort of financial background uh, or any understanding of how these booms and busts work, uh, you know, they would have understood that it, it was inevitable. Uh, it was only a matter of time uh, before we saw this crash coming. As we should all know, guys, you know, those type of returns are, you know, were not sustainable. Uh, nevertheless, I would consider this a successful video. And if you watched the video and sold some of your crypto assets, I think you would have saved some good money. Now the second video that I want to talk about uh, was actually in my opinion you know my biggest achievement on this channel it's one of the videos it probably is the video that I am most proud of um, and it doesn't even involve a stock pick uh, the video was titled is the stock market crashing and should you be worried and this was a video that was released in late March so right in the midst of some pretty heavy uh, market volatility and you know we'd seen uh, a sharp sell-off in February uh, a bit of a recovery and then another uh, sharp downturn so this was a time where investors were very uh, pessimistic there was a lot of uncertainty in the market and you know basically you know in the video I went on to say that I didn't believe that the stock market was crashing and I said it with quite confidence um, you know despite all the negativity and we looked at some of the reasons why I thought that. Um, you know, we talked about the economy being quite strong. You know, we looked at you know things like the unemployment rate. Uh, we looked at corporate earnings still being relatively strong. We had a look at the yield curve for signs of an inversion. And of course, we fast forward a few months later, um, and it turned out to be uh, more or less uh, a correction more than anything, and may have uh, represented a good buying opportunity. So that was a tougher one to put out. Um, you know, the video got some backlash, uh, some negative comments with people just saying, you know, you're retarded, go out your stomp, you know. But you know, like I. Said, said uh, you know this was probably you know the video that I'm most proud of and looking back in hindsight I think that uh, I made the right decision now let's move on to some of the stock picks that I've talked about thus far uh, there's been about 11 and you know I'm not including the ones that I very recently did uh, there's really no point in reviewing those um, you know some have been good some have been bad some have been just flat-out ugly so let's start with the good by far the best performing stock uh, that I've talked about on this channel has been the Chinese company IGE um, and as I'm filming this video today, it's up about 66%. So I released a video on uh, April 26th uh, when the stock was trading for around $18 per share. Currently the stock is trading for around $31 USD. Um, and you know, I actually released a second video on uh, June 15th called IGE is on fire, uh, saying that I sold some of my shares, right? After such a sharp run up, um, I decided to take some profits when my shares were up 
uh, I believe 125%. Uh, and looking back, uh, I couldn't have timed that really any more perfectly. Now, a lot of that I would credit to luck and just lucky timing. But at the same time, you know, there is an aspect of skill that comes into play. Um, and, you know, having the understanding that, you know, when a stock shoots up that quick over that, you know, short of a time period, it's very common that you'd see a reversal or a pullback. Um, so that kind of worked out great. Um, and I still continue to own some shares of IGE. In April, I recommended the stock Facebook, uh, which is currently up about 18% since the video. And this was right in the midst of the Cambridge Analytica scandal. So again, you know, another controversial pick. Since then, the stock has recovered and is now reaching all-time highs. Uh, so looking back, you know, if you could have cut out the noise and you know ignored the pessimists, this would have been a great buying opportunity. In my collab video with Nick Paris, um, I recommended the stock Visa. Those shares are up 11% uh, since. My three stocks to buy in June, uh, PepsiCo, Procter & Gamble, uh, and Pfizer. Uh, those stocks are up 8%. 5% and 1% in that order. So those are my stock picks that are in positive territory. Uh, we've seen some nice performance out of some of these stocks and I continue to believe that these are good stocks to own for the long term. Now let's shift over to some of the stocks that have not done so well. Um, and the first stock that we're gonna be talking about uh, was a stock that I released in my video, three stocks to buy in May. It was the company Cisco Systems. And thus far, the stock is down about 3%. And I believe, you know, literally a week or so after I released the video, uh, Cisco reported uh, their earnings, uh, pretty crummy earnings, which kind of sent the stocks on a, a bit of a decline. That being said, I still think that Cisco is an outstanding stock to own for the long term. Uh, let's not forget, uh, with a stock like this, you're pulling in, uh, I believe it's a 3% dividend. So I have absolutely no issue with the performance of this stock thus far. Now, moving on to the three final stocks, which are all in negative territory and all happen to come from the same video. And ironically enough, uh, this is the most popular video on my channel uh, with I believe over 8,000 views currently. It was the video, the top three stocks that I'm buying in 2018. Now the three stocks that I recommended were Disney, uh, Tencent, and GE, General Electric. Um, and thus far the stocks are down 5%, 13% and 25% in that order. So clearly not optimal performance out of these stocks. That being said, I still believe that all three of these companies are good companies to own for the long term. In fact, with the stocks trading where they currently are, you know, to me that only represents an opportunity to potentially go in and buy some more shares at a cheaper price and really lower, you know, the average cost of our shares. Let's not forget here guys that as long-term investors, our goal is to acquire shares for as low of a price as possible. So the fact that these shares are down after a 6-month period really does just light my eyes up. Disney is a stock that I absolutely love uh, and I hope to be a shareholder, you know, till the day that I retire. Uh, Tencent is another company that I am a big, big fan of. Um, you know, there's been some shaky performance thus far. There's been some shaky performance kind of in uh, Chinese stocks in general, just with the trade tariffs and whatnot. But Tencent is such a powerhouse and such a strong company. Um, I think that they're gonna do very well going forward. And GE, despite all the hate, I really do believe is trading uh, significantly below what the company is valued at. Uh, you know, I'm seeing so many articles saying that GE is trading at an extreme discount. And I really do believe that 10 years from now, uh, if you decided not to invest in the stock, you'll look back at this time frame and say, man, I really should have got in at these levels. So guys, that wraps up my little recap uh, thus far. At the end of the day, I mean, six months is really nothing. It has absolute peanuts in the big scheme of things. And you know, it's great that some of my investments or some of the stocks that I talked about have gone up. But in all honesty, uh, I could care less if my stocks were, you know, down or flat, especially given, you know, the performance of the markets uh, this year being, you know, for the most part flat. I invest in stocks because I believe in the underlying company. And I think that all of the companies that I talked about in this video are good companies to own for the long term. And the last thing that I'd like to touch on is that, you know, I know I go over stock picks and, you know, stocks to buy, but I really hope that you guys are getting, you know, more than that from uh, my channel. You know, picking stocks is just one aspect of investing. And I really hope that by watching these videos, you're starting to get an understanding of my investment philosophy, you know, what I look for when buying stocks, you know, not chasing stocks that are doing well, in fact, doing the exact opposite. So guys, again, I thank you for all the support. Uh, it's been an awesome six months, uh, many more to come. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like. 
Uh, and if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and hit the bell so you get notified. And I thank you guys all for watching and I will see you in the next video.